Hey guys, welcome back to class 3 of Crocheting 101. This week we are going to start on some stitch patterns. The first pattern I'm going to teach you is called Open Stitch Family. First off, we need our yarn. If you want your quilt to be color coordinated, that's fine. I'm just going to use whatever I have. So I'm going to be using this green, kind of a lime greenish color um, cotton yarn and I'm going to be using a size J10 crochet hook. Um, first off, we're going to start with our slip stitch. Again, how you do that is you make your U or V or whatever you want to call it. Cross the little string over, put your fingers in that loop, and grab the long string and pull it through. Put that on your hook. And we're going to chain 27. So we're going to do this one the same size as the other square that we made in the last video. So that all of our squares are about the same size. Okay, now we have 27. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a double crochet, which we learned in the last video. We're going to skip two, and in the third one, do a double crochet. Again, if that's wrapped from behind, insert your hook, wrap from behind, pull through one loop, wrap from behind, pull through two, wrap from behind, and pull through two. And that's one. Now, we're going to chain one. And then, you're going to skip the next chain and go in the second one. So skip one and go in the second chain away and still doing a double crochet. Into your hook, pull through, wrap it and pull through two, wrap it, pull through two. And that's going to give us these big holes. So once we do it a little more, it'll give you more of an idea of what it's gonna what the pattern's gonna look like. Next, you wrap it and chain one again, skip one, and go in the next one. And there you go, there's two. And this one also kind of gives a ladder effect, only with bigger spaces. We're going to continue doing that all the way down until the end, and then I'll tell you what we're going to do next. Okay, so we're getting close to the end here. Just going to finish up, chain, and then we're going to end with a double crochet. And then that's what it looks like. I really like it. I think it's kind of an elegant kind of look kind of a lacy effect. So now to turn, we're going to chain two and we're going to turn it or reverse depending on different patterns will say different things but I just say turn. Um, now in that same spot where that chain two is, we're going to do a double crochet. So there will be a chain two and a double crochet in the same loop. Then we're going to chain one, and in the next double crochet, we're going to do a double crochet. And that way, we're keeping the holes right on top of each other. Chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet, and you're just going to continue doing that until you have a square, um, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. One more thing, when you get to the end, I know generally we go into this last, so there's two loops and we generally go in that chain, 
but this time you're just going to be doing a double crochet in that top loop and that way um, it stays even and when you chain there will be a double crochet with it and at the end there's just a double crochet so one end will be chain and double crochet and then just double crochet and you're going to do that all the way back and forth okay guys so here's the finished square and I think it looks really cool uh, a way to check to make sure that you have a square is to fold it in half and you have a perfect triangle then you have a square so now to finish off we're just going to cut the tail and wrap it and chain once and then pull the tail all the way through and pull it tight and then going to weave your crochet hook through the chains and double crochets on top it's going to be kind of tight to get it through the chains what you can do also is get a um, a sewing needle or a thread needle or I don't know exactly what it's called but one that's big enough for this thread to go through and then you can put that on there and then use that to weave it through and it makes it a lot easier um, I don't have one with me at the moment otherwise I'd be using it and you're just going to pull it through And I'm not going to bother going back through because um, we're just going to be hooking them together later and so it doesn't really matter all that much. So here's a closer up for stitches, chain, and a double crochet. And pretty much if you want anything to look kind of lacy or to be a little cooler, this is great for baby blankets, it's great for clothing. It's great for just about anything. I wouldn't suggest using it for dishcloth and stuff just because it won't get stuff as clean per se, but I mean, you can if you want to. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it for this video. I Please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'll be putting one out hopefully every week if not every month we'll see how that goes um, make sure to like the video if you liked it and please feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions about any of the stuff that I've done or if you have a request on something that you would like me to make a video on so that you can learn how to make it I would love to do that for you